Hello everyone, welcome to my programming club. Today we will be solving another daily lead code challenge. And the name of challenge is number of good pairs. So you are given an array of integers nums. Return the number of good pairs. So a good pair is if uh, let's say there are two indices uh, where first index is less than the second index and the numbers at those indices are equal so for example uh, so uh, let's have a look at the constraints so the length of the num array will be of order 10 raised to power 2 and uh, elements in uh, this num array will also be of order 10 raised to power 2 so how we will be solving this particular problem is uh, we will traverse the given nums array in left to right direction now let's say uh, x was present at 0th index then it was present at the first index and then it was present at the third index in the given nums array okay uh, then let's say while uh, visiting this third index we know that already x is occurring at two positions and so uh, pair of this particular position can be formed with earlier two positions since, er since earlier two positions will be having a lesser index than the current index this is the current index and uh, the number at those indices will be equal to x so we will uh, increment our answer by two times since two pairs are possible one is 0 3 and one is 0 1 so similarly for uh, this particular one index also if you consider it earlier only one index was uh, there which was having x so 0 1 was a pair so your answer was incremented by one time so this is the logic each time you encounter uh, occurrence of or an occurrence of a number then you will Increment your answer the number of times you have seen it before. So let's try to implement this solution let me quickly zoom out i think it is fine it will not take much of the space so the size of the nums array will be stored in this particular variable or we do not require i think size of the nums array we can simply use a hash map uh, to store the number of occurrences of uh, integer before uh, or you can say uh, we will check it along the uh, traversal number of occurrences of an element so we will traverse the array from left to right and this will be our answer that we will be returning ok and let's declare a hash map
it will be num frequency map okay and yeah so your answer will be incremented by num frequency map dot get for default if it's not present this nums uh, this number current number current number is num then you will return zero otherwise you will return it if it's present okay and then you will increment your answer by that number many times and you will return your answer at last let's try to run it for the sample test cases to see if it's getting okay it's throwing some error oh okay uh, in map two arguments are required uh, we have only supplied one and here also you should increment the frequency of nums so num frequency map uh, dot put current number and increment its frequency num frequency map uh, dot get or default num zero plus one so earlier frequency plus this frequency will be replaced will replace the current frequency okay and let's try to submit it again i think this time it should be accepted for the sample test cases yeah it's getting accepted let's try to submit it as you can see uh, the solution is getting accepted let's try to convert this solution in c plus plus so in, uh, here instead of hash map we can use our noded map because we will not be requiring to store the order of uh, to, to store these uh, num frequency pairs in particular order so an ordered map and then instead of this get or default you will just use this operator it's not an operator just a random access i think uh, similarly here also you will just increment your frequency of num and rest all will be deleted i think it should work now and instead of where uh, auto is there in c plus plus let's try to submit it as you can see it's getting accepted in c plus plus also let's try to submit yeah it's getting accepted so the code will be available in java c plus plus and python 3 i will be converting it in python 3 also so if you are having any doubts please feel free to ask them in the comment section so i will be more than happy to answer them thank you for watching thanks